Hey, it's Scotty, and I'm with Gary, and this is why it's very important to uh, take a look at your piggies every day. I just noticed, it's hard to see, get them in the, in the good light. This one eye is getting cloudy. He doesn't seem to be in pain, and there's no discharge. Let me see. I wonder if it's possible that he got scratched. Now, Gary's an older boy, and you can see that there's like a white forming around his um, iris. This happens in older piggies. Um, I'll do a quick Google search. You see that? Um, it's Maybe it's like a calcium thing. I don't think it's something to worry about. It's just a sign of old age. But I'm going to do a quick... Um, you know, search to find out. Based on the research that I did, osseous metaplasia is pretty common in older guinea pigs and there is no treatment for it and generally it won't progress and your piggies will usually uh, die of old age before this actually becomes a problem. In very rare cases it could cause blindness but doesn't usually seem to cause any infection or is anything really to worry about. There are much more common illnesses like heart disease that you would want to worry about, lumps and bumps and tumors that you'd want to keep an eye on. So nothing to be too concerned about, just something that you'd want to pay attention to and watch it progress. Now back to the actual hay poke. Would I say that this is something that you need to go to a vet immediately for? Maybe... I have some teramycin ointment I'm going to put on the eye and I'm going to keep a close eye on it, no pun intended. A vet would be able to shine a light and possibly do a stain. Now if this is just a scratch, then it should heal very quickly. So um, regardless of what your plan is, the first step would be uh, to lubricate the eye, if possible, with something like teramycin ointment. So, but he doesn't seem to be in pain. He doesn't seem to be wincing. And I look at him every day, so I'm just guessing. Guinea pigs are very susceptible. When they get like a little eye injury, their eyes quickly react. You okay, buddy? So I'm going to put a little teramycin on it, and I'm just going to watch it closely for a day. I did put a big pile of hay in the grids in between him and Nate, because they like to share. They like to feel like they're stealing each other's hay. <laughs> and so it's possible that he just scratched his eye a little bit. But I am concerned, but I'm not going to lose my mind over it just yet. I'm going to take a closer look and see if I can see a scratch. Or maybe, maybe there's actually a piece of hay stuck somewhere. And of course, I'm going to reach out to the Weakers group and see what people say. And I'll give a picture see what people think <laughs> not really seeing a scratch so it's been a couple days and I've been putting the ointment on and what's interesting is at first when the eye was cloudy see a little bit of the greasy shine I haven't put it on today but when I first noticed that the eye Gary's eye was cloudy it's kind of cloudy all over, but now the top part is dark and the cloudy part is kind of more isolated. All right, so here we go. Squeeze a little. Prefer personally not to touch it because that way I can sort of get it on the eyeball. And when you get it on the eyeball, it warms up and it melts kind of touch the eyes together a little bit and it will melt over the eye um, 
as long as I don't point the tip like this and I instead I tilt it back towards me, then I don't, and then you just kind of put it in like that, then I'm not worried about poking his eye out. I'm sure you could do it with the Q-tip or whatever, but it just, to me, it makes sense to not touch the goop, uh, the uh, teramycin with anything else. You know, I'm sure a sterile Q-tip or something else or washing your hands or whatever, but this way just goes right in the eye safely. And uh, there may end up being a little mark on his eyeball, but basically it's supposed to do this for two weeks and I just do it once a day. Um, now, it, sometimes the eye can bulge out. You know, if there's a really bad trauma, you can, the eye can bulge out and sometimes pop out. If you want to use your best judgment, if it's really, really bad, you might want to go to the vet. Just, they also have different kind of antibiotic eye drops, but usually these scratches are superficial. Now, like I said, follow your gut. If you think you need to go to the vet, do it. But a lot of people you know, who don't especially have pet health insurance. And, you know, this is going to cost $100 minimum, maybe more just to see a vet, especially in an emergency. And for some people that explodes their budget. And I sympathize and understand that. Um, and we see this pretty often. And guinea pigs miraculously can heal. So, if it doesn't start healing right at the moment that you notice it, keep this teramycin ointment in your emergency kit. This is a $20 tube, and it should last quite a while. So definitely an important thing to have in your emergency kit. You don't use it for cuts and scrapes. There's other regular dollar store antibiotic ointment. This is only for the eye. But... Anything other than a scratch in the eye, some other situation where the eye develops something, you definitely want to look at the vet. But when you see this cloudiness, sometimes you'll actually see a little scratch. As long as it doesn't get any worse than when you initially discover it, then you can just follow this treatment without going to the vet. So it's been about week and a half maybe almost two weeks and you can see that Gary's eye is looking a lot better there's still a little cloudiness a little blueness and it's tough to see what is the reflection and what is a scratch he does have this calcification hi Gary but I'm going to continue the teramycin for probably another week and just see, you know, guinea pigs don't have the best eyesight to begin with. Um, and he doesn't need to have the best eyesight. Because, uh, you know, he's got good other senses. He's got his whiskers and he knows, you know, he, he knows where he's going. He doesn't bump into walls and stuff. Okay, okay, Phil, shh. So it has been 25 days, almost a whole month, and he has been on Teramycin. I gave it to him pretty much every day. Um, there was a couple days that I missed, but it was pretty consistent every day. And, uh, you can see there's still a little, hey, there's still a little bit of cloudiness right there at the bottom. Um, but for the most part, it healed very nicely. And I mentioned that there is this old age related condition where the around the eye and uh, there is no treatment for it it's just 
a byproduct of old age. I'm guessing Gary's close to six at this point now. But the main thing is that when piggies have an eye scratch and their eyes cloud over, you want to have the teramycin ointment. You know, it is like a $20 tube, but it's the only thing that you use it for and it should last quite a while in your emergency kit. So it's just something to have on hand. You don't use very much. I probably used less than 5% of the tube for that entire treatment. You know, you're just using the tiniest blob. And so the main thing is that if there was any scratches, let's get, get a whisker in front of your eye. Let me see. You just want to make sure that the eye doesn't get infected, that it heals as best it can. And like I've said before, guinea pigs don't have the greatest eyesight. So really, um, you're just trying to make sure that there are no complications with the injury. There is this other eye that's very black. And this is the eye that had the hay poke or the scratch. We're not sure exactly what it was. But I'm going to continue the teramycin for a couple more days. But basically, you know, we're not concerned that there's any issue other than there was an eye scratch. So I just wanted to share this information with you guys. Um, of all the things that you need in your emergency kit, the teramycin ointment is one of those things that you just put in there and hopefully you'll never need it. And you just want to check on it every couple years and replace it with a, a fresh tube if you don't use it. But it does last many, many years. Just keep it in a, in a cool place. Okay, so that's it on behalf of me and Gary. I want to thank you for watching. If you want to check out some more common illnesses, I have an entire playlist right here of common illnesses and you can also go to my website and there's a care guide and a whole bunch of other stuff so if you haven't subscribed already I would love it if you would and hit the bell and you'll get notified when my new videos come out all right thanks for watching